so for living donors, um, the process is a, kind of a staggered process. The same day, uh, the donor surgeon, in our case, Dr. Varma, will do a laparoscopic uh, nephrectomy. And once he removes it from the body, I take it, I flush the blood out, clean up the kidney, and then take it to my own room where my patient is waiting. Uh, and typically what I will have done prior to that is make an incision and have the vessels exposed. And then um, I simply then take the kidney and put clamps on the vessel, sew it in and uh, take the clamps off. The kidney is reperfused and we wait about five or 10 minutes. And before we connect the ureter to the bladder, we start seeing urine being produced. Uh, you know that the transplant you've done, uh, at that point it's successful. And then it's a matter of uh, patients starting immunosuppression and watching for organ function and their general medical care afterwards. And then the patient is taken from the operating room to recovery um, and then to a floor bed. And then it's just a matter of monitoring their blood pressure, blood sugars, um, urine output. Um, the surrogate we use for kidney function is watching someone's serum creatinine the next day, you should start to see the creatinine go down or improve um, and for them to start taking their anti-rejection medicines. Um, so monitoring that, most of our patients stay in the hospital for about four days and then they go home. Um, then they come back to clinic for follow-up visits. We check labs. Um, so seeing people um, get better almost immediately. So it's really amazing that people actually do feel better within 24 to 48 hours after having a transplant.